In Ukraine, this pickup truck rarely carries barrels of herring or bags of cement, it is more often seen carrying a four-wheeler or a jet ski. Therefore, there are very few Ashitani rangers in the secondary market. But there is still something to pay attention to, if in America, the homeland of pickups, these cars are usually used as a working tool, then in Ukraine they are bought mainly by fishermen and hunters, lovers of outdoor activities and travel, or those who simply like such cars. And Ford Ranger is not ignored by potential buyers. Unlike its closest competitors, it looks brutal, even belligerent, a high hood, rectangular headlights and a massive radiator grill fit a pickup truck more than soft body contours. In Ukraine, the Ranger of the generation in question has never been officially sold. And this was enjoyed by the gray dealers. They had both double cab models and one and a half wrap cab models. By the way, the Ford pickup is technically completely unified with the Mazda BT-50. Both cars were produced at the same factory in Thailand. The pickup truck from Ford, like the BT-50, has a solid axle on the rear with springs, and the front suspension is independent torsion bar on transverse triangular levers. Four-wheel drive is organized according to the part-time scheme, under normal driving conditions, the car's rear-wheel drive, and the front axle is connected only on off-road or slippery surfaces. In difficult situations, you can turn on a downshift. If that's not enough, a rear self-locking differential helps. The ride quality of the Ranger will not disappoint fans of this type of machine. And for those who really need a pickup for work, not the most ideal handling is rather taken for granted. For a pickup truck, only one engine was provided, a 2.5-liter turbo diesel, 143 horsepower. It was mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox. A 5-band automatic on a pickup truck appeared only in 2010. Outwardly solid Ford Ranger boasts a very comfortable interior, which cannot be called utilitarian. In terms of interior design and ergonomics of the driver's seat, it will give odds to many SUVs. The front panel features modern architecture and solid materials. By the abundance of compartments for small things, the pickup truck looks like a minivan. Niches, cup holders, pockets, there are plenty of them here. You can pick on the little things. First, the gear lever is located to the right of the four-wheel drive transmission control handle. And when you turn on the fifth gear, you have to reach for it. Initially, the right-hand drive origin of the pickup effects. Secondly, there is no handbrake in the traditional place. Instead, there is a stick that extends from under the front panel, like on old Soviet trucks. I was also surprised by the lack of a platform for arresting the left leg, although there is plenty of room for it. And the main difference from the Mazda platform is the off-road devices crowning the center console, a compass, a thermometer and an inclinometer. For a pickup truck, the Ranger is not badly equipped. Already in the standard XL version, there were front and side airbags, ABS, power windows and side mirrors, a CD radio, central locking and heated front seats. The XLT version added bell or seat trim, a CD changer, foot pegs and alloy wheels. The limited trim had leather upholstery and rear parking sensors. The top version of Wildtrak had an external body kit, a roll bar behind the cab, and leather interior trim. For this option, an awning on the body was offered for an extra charge. During the operation of the Ford Ranger proved to be a fairly reliable car. Corrosion resistance of its bodies is high. However, the glass of the side mirror was often burst and exfoliated the amalgam. On a turbo diesel, the fuel filter periodically becomes clogged, due to which the engine loses power dramatically. It changes at every mo, 10,000 kilometers, but from low quality diesel fuel it can become contaminated earlier than this period. More frequent filter replacement prolongs the life of the injection pump and injection nozzles. And they cost a lot. If you feel that the engine has begun to tune, hurry up to the service, as it is necessary to replace the dual mass flywheel along with the clutch kit. When replacing the clutch, carefully inspect the rear cover of the cylinder block for leakage of the crankshaft rear oil seal. External CV joints are short-lived, which last an average of 50,000 kilometers. The engine is extremely reliable and durable. The main thing is to change the fuel and air filters more often and periodically clean the injection pump fuel receiver grid. By 100,000 kilometers, crankshaft and camshaft oil seals may leak. The mechanical box is hassle-free. The clutch rarely withstands 100,000 kilometers. And it changes complete with a dual mass flywheel. Due to a design flaw, the front gearbox also fails. In the front suspension, hub bearings are short-lived, which, depending on operating conditions, live 40,000 to 75,000 kilometers. More than 50,000 kilometers do not hold the stabilizer struts. But the shock absorbers can withstand about 100,000 kilometers. The rear suspension with a rigid beam axle is indestructible. 
but if you often drive off-road, make sure that water does not get through the breather into the bridge. In addition to the stabilizer struts, which usually nurse up to 80,000 kilometers, there is nothing special to break here. The body confidently resists corrosion, but if you often carry various loads in the body, do not skimp on the plastic coating of the loading platform. It will save the floor from rust. Electrical equipment is one of the most reliable systems of this car. Periodically, only fuses and external lighting bulbs burn out.